Hello, this is David with uh, No Mercy More Sports. Here we're going to be replacing a timing belt on a Ford 2.3 Turbo out of an uh, SVO Mustang. Uh, this is our own in-house project car. Uh, the other day, when I was driving it last night, coincidentally uh, on Friday the 13th, timing belt broke. Um, so we're going to put a new one on and I'm going to show you how. Um, first off, what you want to do is you want to take off your uh, water pump pulley. You don't have to take it all the way off, but originally you would... Uh, you got these four bolts on here and I would recommend leaving both of the serpentine and or v-belts whatever uh, style 2.3 you have leave them on there uh, crack these these bolts loose individually without taking them all the way out just enough so they're loose when you take the belts off you can easily remove these pulleys and then next you have let's see a handful of 10 millimeter bolts you have one here one here um, you have one right here you have a uh, on most of them you have your standard Phillips head screw that's um, tapped in right there and then you have one uh, let's see if I can see it one 10 millimeter bolt right there um, kind of right above where your upper radiator hose goes into the block um, it's kind of tricky I'm gonna try to get it out with a wrench here in a second um, in most cases you would want to take your pulley all the way off to extract this but uh, in this case, uh, my pulley actually, I had a mishap with it and it broke the little notch that uh, prevents it from swinging all the way back. Okay, now as you can see, now as you can see we got the cover off. Um, it was pretty easy, didn't have to take the hall mock balancer off, actually it came off separately. Um, I'm pretty sure not all of them are like this. I do believe some of them are a full one piece unit, so you will have to take the the lower uh, pulley or hummock balancer off, whatever you want to call it. Next, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get this tensioner off. Okay, first off, you need to slightly loosen this bolt right here. This is the, the tensioner axe where it's um, is spring loaded. Okay, and you have one bolt right here, 13 millimeter. And now it's, it's still got tension on the belt. See, this belt didn't actually break, but it was old enough where the teeth, um, as you can see right down here, they kind of just rubbed off okay so what we're gonna do next is the easiest way to get this tensioner off without having to well you don't have to take it all the way off the easiest way to load preload it that way you don't have to take it off and have the specialty tool is after you get both of these loosened the tensioner will will be able to move just slightly okay see I put pressure on it what's well, moving the tensioner back so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put tension on this belt, okay? We're gonna push it down, as far as we can push it down, and then after I do that, I'm gonna proceed to tighten up the, the adjustment and on the tensioner, that way it's gonna have it preloaded, and it's gonna be pushed back just a little bit so we can get the belt off easily. All right, we got the belt off, okay? Next, I gotta take the uh, lower crank pulley off. Uh, we ended up removing the fan shroud just to make it easier so we can get the impact gun on there. Well, we ended up getting the uh, the timing belt job complete. Um, everything turned out to be just fine. Um, for reference, though, okay, you have this right down here, this uh, the sprocket. Um, you know, it's for your oil pump and also for the um, the 2.3 liter engines with a distributor. That right there also controls the angle of the rotor button. Um, if your belt did not previously break, um, what I would recommend you doing is you take like your, your typical paint marker and you want to mark a place on the pulley um, and also on the block, any, anywhere. That way you can designate, you can put it back in the exact same place where you left it. Now I would recommend doing this with the engine, you know, at top dead center, um, the number one cylinder up. And the way you would check that is you pull out your number one spark plug. You feel for the cylinder to come all the way up to the top and that would be top, top dead center. Um, the other thing you want to check is to make sure your cam 
is on the compression stroke, which you got your fucking marks for your cam, and that's really not a big deal whatsoever. Um, but you want to make sure that's up. Um, and worst case scenario, say your your timing belt breaks, okay? Well, and you're not sure what the orientation is for this lower gear. And I've seen on some they have a timing mark, some of them do not. Mine um, being, you know, uh, mid to, mid to late 80s uh, 2.3 mod does not have any kind of uh, mark for that whatsoever. So what you would do is you would put your cam and your crank in time, you know, uh, rotate the engine around, make sure everything is good. Now after you would have that, you would have it set at the top dead center. Um, and then you would place your distributor in on uh, pointed the rotor button towards the uh, the number one uh, plug on the, the cap you know set it back down and as long as you have it lined up straight it'll fire up you can adjust the timing here and there um, and you may be one tooth off in either direction if you don't set it perfectly right which is not a big deal you would pull it back out make your minor adjustment set it back in use a timing light make sure the timing is on the money um, I can show you, you guys that here in a later video